here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. In this video, I'm kind of just going to go with the flow. Just kidding. We're actually going to talk about flow, the importance of it, and the importance of circulation within your aquarium. First off, let's type, uh, talk about the different methods of creating flow in our tanks. Now, if you already got a tank up and running, there's a good chance you already have this first one on your tank, and that is a return pump. Whether you have a sump or an all-in-one or an external filter, um, you already have flow that's coming from that pump. Now, if you've got a sump, there's a variety of different return pumps that you can get that are out on the market from the simplistic, super easy to work to the more technical, fancy ones that come with the app. For example, the CJ Synchro SDC. It has an app that you can put on your phone and it allows you to control the speed of the pump as well as program some varied wave flow patterns in there. So diff different options that you have for your tank when it comes to return pumps. Now that's just one method of creating flow within your tank, but there's a couple others. Next one is going to be power heads, right? So power heads can typically be put just about anywhere on the glass of your tank. And they're really great at creating flow in some of those harder to reach places. You think about that return pump, for the most part, it's going to be returning water from one or two, maybe three areas, depending on how you've plumbed your tank but the power heads can move water around in other different areas to ensure that you've got good circulation going in your tank. Now, some of the different power heads, like I said, they're all gonna be stationary, but you can adjust how they sit and the direction that they flow. A lot of them move up and down, side to side, um, and they're a really great option. They come in a bunch of different sizes, so if you have the larger tanks or if you have a smaller tank, there's something out there for you. Now, another way to create flow in your tank is through a nozzle adapter that you're gonna put on your returns. Now, I've got these Vivid Creative Aquatics random flow generators on all of my tanks, and I love the flow that they create. The way they work is on the inside of the nozzle, there's a specific pattern that's made in the design. And as water travels over that pattern, it's going to create random flow that changes from minute to minute throughout your tank. Now these are a great option if you've got species in your tank and you're worried about moving parts that you would find, say, on those power heads. I've got a cowfish in one of my tanks and there's always a fear of them getting their horns stuck in the moving power heads. So these are an excellent option for me. All right, those are the main methods of creating flow in your tank, but why is it important? So with flow comes circulation of the water throughout the tank, and that's beneficial for a bunch of different reasons, but we're only gonna to touch on a few. The first one is going to be um, circulating heat in the tank. Think about where you have your heater. It's only in one spot, it's not moving, and it's just coming into contact with a small area of water. Well, if you've got good circulation and flow in your tank, that's going to make sure that the temperature stays even throughout your entire system. Now, another thing that good flow and circulation is going to bring is um, oxygen and nutrients and any sort of trace elements and minerals that are in the water. It's gonna make sure that those are equally distributed across your tank so that any corals that you might have are gonna have access and be able to utilize those. Now, another great reason for having good circulation is nutrient movement. Now, I mean that in two different ways. First is the nutrients that you're putting into the tank when you're feeding, right? Now, you could be feeding your fish and distributing you know, fish food and even coral food, broadcast feeding throughout the tank, and that's gonna be a great thing. But what happens when everybody's done eating? You have nutrients in the form of waste that you wanna get that out of the tank. Now, I know you might be saying, Hillary, well, I turn all my pumps off and I target feed some of my corals, so like, I don't have to worry about nutrients being brought to the corals, but chances are your pumps are back on by the time that coral is done digesting their food and they have produced waste from it. And if you've got good flow and good circulation, you're gonna have a way to get that waste up off of the coral and into your filter where you can remove it from the system. 
Another important thing about good flow and circulation, especially when it comes to corals, is that it will impact the way that they grow. The type of flow that they're getting could change the way, especially hard corals are going to grow. You might have um, longer spindly branches of corals or a um, wider, shorter, um, thicker coral, depending on the type of flow that you've got. Now let's move on to fish. How does good circulation and flow affect fish? Well, like I said, good circulation is going to distribute nutrients. Say for example, if you've got fish that are feeding on the bottom. Well, having a good circulation is going to make sure that those fish that are on the bottom are going to get the food that you put in on the top. It's also, again, just like the corals, going to be able to remove their waste and hopefully get it out of the system. Now, another way that we might not talk about all that often is enrichment when it comes to the fish. Think to a wild reef. You're gonna see fish swimming all over the place. You're gonna see them chasing after food, which is one method of enrichment, but also they're going to be active. It's going to help them stay healthy because naturally in the wild, they're going to be swimming and they're going to be getting that exercise. And if we can recreate that in our tanks, we're gonna have healthier, happier fish. All right, these are just a couple of the different reasons that circulation and good flow in your tank is important. I'm curious to know what type of flow do you have on your tank and why do you love the benefits of good flow and circulation? All right, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.